नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं इंशुल मैं आप सभी का अपने चैनल टेक्निक टारगेट पर स्वागत करता हूं दोस्तों आज की वीडियो में हमारे साथ है नेहा जो की प्लेस हो चुकी है टीसीएस में फॉर द रोल ऑफ निंजा तो दोस्तों आज की वीडियो में ये अपना रिटर्न एज वेल एज इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करने वाली है तो मेक श्योर sure आप इस वीडियो को लास्ट तक जरूर दिखेगा साथ ही साथ दोस्तों कमेंट सेक्शन में इनको कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन भी जरूर वेश कर दीजिएगा तो दोस्तों वीडियो को स्टार्ट करते हैं इनके इंट्रोडक्शन के साथ हेलो अंशल आई एम नेहा I've I've got got placed placed in in TCS and 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 given the interviews of Wipro and got placed in HP Enterprise also and, uh, today I'm here to share the interview experience of TCS here. Okay, that's great. और मैं आप सभी को बता दू अगर किसी को इनका एच पीई का एज वेल एज के पी एम जी का भी इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस चाहिए हो तो प्लीज कमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बता दीजिएगा तो नेहा अब ये बताइए की आपका रिटर्न एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा था मीन्स जो इसमें राउंड वन होता है और आपने उसकी प्रिपरेशन कहाँ से की थी yes. Uh, I have given my interview experience, uh, like the first written exam on twelfth of September, the very first lot. Uh, basically, I've not prepared much for TCS uh, written exam. Like I was not, uh, like I was fed up with my semester exams during then. And aptitude is what I've prepared. Like I was weak, weak at aptitude. And what I did was I've just searched on Google for top five uh, aptitude topics of TCS, and I've just got a face prep link. I think. the top five topics is what i've chosen the number system and the basic five topics which we get on aptitude what i did immediately was i've gone into india wix i've randomly solved around 20 25 sums in each one of them because i had less of time so that is just a one night of preparation i guess i've solved all the five topics and i am good with verbal is what i felt like i can manage verbal is what i felt and reasoning is somehow manageable when compared with time constraints right so that is what i did so less of uh, like very little of aptitude preparation is what i did and uh, basics of coding is what i had uh, and coming to the performance uh, like uh, in, in the interview uh, like in the written test it was not so great because uh, there was a timer for each question you might know right like there was a 45 seconds timer one minute timer like uh, me i have started solving the problem once i get the answer but the timer is lost like the question is lost <laughs> like i've lost around four or five questions like that so it was something like i did not even attempt four or five in aptitude yes i i got to know the uh, flow in verbal and reasoning yet but the first section was aptitude like it went on well like uh, i though i was not able to solve some problems in aptitude i solved only few like let's say some seven or eight uh, around 50 50% i can say and english and uh, reasoning went well like the verbal and reasoning part went well and the coding question one was really easy like uh, it was re really attemptable so i have solved it completely and the other one i was able to solve few test cases is what uh, i can say so it was it was let's say 50% of coding is what i did and i did not expect any interview call from tcs because uh, my performance was really not up to the mark like this was my second time i have given my nqt i have given it in february once uh, during those times i got a good percentile but i don't think they have considered that for this uh so however on uh, 29th of september i have received a uh, uh, mail saying that you've got shortlisted for interview that is a shock moment for me and that is when i've explored your channel called tech and target and i did not know that before i've like seen uh, around 65 videos of tcs uh, playlist like i've seen that there are 67 uh, 65 videos and i've not i, I was not sure ki uh, how how long would it take for the interview to happen I started watching all the videos, started uh, seeing all the experiences, and that is when I've gained the confidence because I I have never faced a technical part of interview like for any MNC or such or such thing. So I have started watching one and one. I I started to gain confidence. That is for sure. After watching all the interview experiences, I was like, you know the basics. Now you just have to be confident. And that is when I came across HR questions. That playlist is really amazing. I have to say this. that introduction question unfortunately i was not asked the introduction question but again uh, it was it is the most common question like many people have been asked but i was not asked uh, the introduction question again uh, i've watched all the videos firstly and after that uh, my interview uh, happened after 21 days like uh, it took around 22 days for my interview to happen i was uh, i was waiting for the interview i can say uh at on 20 i had the tr round at uh, at 2 pm the slot was at 2 pm and tcs makes us wait a lot like i had to wait for two and a half hours to uh, like for my trs to start the come like the people were very calm enough they were generous they have greeted me well they made me comfortable and they were started asking like what are the skills you have 
and they've gone through the resume resume is really really important whatever they ha i have put on my resume each and everything has been covered like there's nothing that has not been asked from my resume they have completely scanned my resume is what i can say so if you put something on your resume you have to be sure ki you should know that like let me tell you an instance like i had put one uh, cyber security and ethical hacking workshop which i have attended in first year like i was not aware ki when i was applying for tcs i i randomly put some resume okay and i was not thinking that i would get an interview call uh, that was not my uh, idea at that point in time so i put that uh, whatever i have attended i put all the certifications now they have asked me even about that a uh, workshop uh, like what do you know about ethical hacking what are the uh, intakes you've taken from that workshop that that was asked so everything was covered from the resume like i've heard some people were not asked about resumes but my resume was completely scanned both by tr and mr uh, they have uh, they have like asked me basic questions only in terms of technical and after that uh, the managerial round happened what are the basic around... questions do you remember the basic questions of technical whatever the questions you were asked yeah firstly they have asked me about the skills and i have told mm -hmm. them that i'm comfortable with uh, c c++ and java and immediately a question came what is difference between uh, c++ and java and i was clever enough here because uh, i know if i say a different they are going to make a question from that again so i was uh, making sure ki i would answer something which i know so i have told about uh, uh, there is operator overloading and method overloading here and there is nothing like that there so the next question was operator overloading and method overloading and and believe me after that uh, they have asked me about runtime polymorphism and there i have mentioned about method over overloading again and they have immediately striked about method overriding <laughs> so uh, so i have made sure my interview goes in my flow you know like every question like next they asked me about collections this was really unexpected uh, they have asked me to explain about collections in java and there i have mentioned that we use interfaces and the next question was what is interface <laughs> there have been, in interfaces we have abstract uh, methods and the next question was uh, what is abstract methods this is how my interview inter interview flow has completely gone so this is what i say in my videos as well yes. ki agar jo aap bologe usi par aapse question aayega like in my yes. every video in my all the 65 videos i have said this thing i remember yes. and and i've completely followed that and i've killed it <laughs> i can I, I, that that technique somehow, somehow worked for me at least yes uh, and after that they have asked me what are interfaces then abstract classes then they have asked me what is the difference between interface and abstract class so the interview flow has completely gone in that way itself. and i was not able to answer what is the difference between interface and abstract class somehow i have told ki i have not i was not able to recall they were they were okay with that also and if we do not know something it is better to say no instead of exactly. framing up some answer is what i said and then they have started asking me about exceptions uh, how do you handle exceptions and how do you handle uh, file not found exceptions particularly and then they have asked me about uh, i have put uh, like i've put front end web development on my resume so they have asked me questions on html css and javascript also like around five or six questions and then they have uh, they have confirmed whether i know dbms and sql then they have asked me about joins this was one of one of the question which i have heard a lot of times in the 65 videos so i was prepared for that because i do not know dbms much like i was not comfortable with dbms but the frequently asked questions are prepared so i have answered what are joins and then uh, there were a few internship works which have kept on my resume she, she asked me about that and what i suggest is uh, put something on your resume which excites the interviewer like they have to ask about it like there should be some unique point in your resume is what i feel if there's nothing like that no need to worry but if you can put something like that like one of my friends has a research paper published already like being in his first year he has published a, a research paper on the project he did It, it was his luck, or maybe his hard work. But if there is something exciting for the interviewer, it makes a difference. Is what I feel. Exactly. That inter internship experiences have definitely made a difference for me, at least. Because in MR, I was mostly asked about the, those internships only. Like next, I was transferred to MR, and the MR was really, really calm. Like he was pleasant to pleasant to speak. Like he made me comfortable. Like it was a teaching uh, uh, internship which I had. So he has asked me why teaching. Uh, why why did you prefer teaching and how did you manage teaching uh, with college and all of this question and then he asked me about one of my biggest achievements uh, after that uh, uh, he has asked me that you have did a lot but why don't why didn't you learn about python or machine learning or any trending technologies as such why didn't you focus on that is 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 uh, this was his question 
and i was able to answer that recently i have started uh, learning machine learning i was able to cope up with that question ultimately he was happy and he has asked me tell me one reason that i should not hire you this was one interesting question which i was like uh, i was dumbstruck at that moment like what should i even answer when someone asked me why should why shouldn't you hire you like if i if he, if he asked me why should i hire you i'll tell my strength maybe but he was asking me tell me a reason that i should not hire you i was i was completely blank for let's say 5 to 10 seconds and then i i i asked him can i take some time and he said take take 2 minutes it is 21 now take a uh, tell me the answer 23 he has mentioned the timeline now so i have no option to escape that question right now so i was thinking ki what should i answer because i can never mention ki because i am a i am a overthinking girl you don't hire me i cannot tell that right so i was thinking and told ki uh, i i so you i don't think i have some reason that you should not hire me i, I even if there is some reason that you should not hire me i I'm, i'll make sure i'll rectify that uh, that one skill which you want me to uh, Uh, uh like make a change on like if if there is something which i have to improve definitely i'll work on that is what i've mentioned and he was uh, pretty much uh, like he told me that fair enough that is what he has replied to that so he was kind of convinced uh after that he has asked me about uh, all things on the resume he started everything on the resume what is that cyber security a workshop what is that app development workshop which you attended everything on the resume literally he has not left one point on the resume uh, <laughs> trust me trust me uh, that went on like that and finally he was happy and told me that uh, it was nice talking to you and that is how it has ended the tr and mr happened on one day and on what 20th. was the duration what was the duration of your like tr mr it is 23 minutes yes both yeah both 23 minutes uh, technical happened for 10 and this mr kind of happened a little long because he has asked me everything from the resume that okay. took time okay. yes and next day uh, hr has happened late in the night around 7 730 he was kind of uh, i can say he was uh, focused on one single topic called women empowerment he has asked me nothing apart from that like he has started with uh, why 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 do you want to join tcs i was prepared for that i have answered that he has asked me what what is that unique thing in you what differentiates you from others and then he has asked me about what is women women empowerment and what do you think about and the discussion prolonged up to like 5 to 6 minutes only on that single topic like he was raising counter questions on the single topic called women empowerment i was kind of uh, uh i was not uh, willing to answer much like i was trying to cut off the conversation but it didn't happen like he was kind trying to prolong that conversation is what i can say and then he has asked me if i had any backlogs uh and that's it like he has uh, ended up the interview and he has asked did not ask me about relocation he did not ask me about night shifts nothing about the bond i was worried ki i was not going to get selected because i as as uh, as far as i've seen if those questions are asked like they say ki you are selected or something like that but those questions uh, were not asked and because again uh, getting a selection mail also took a lot of time it it was on 21st and i got my selection mail on uh, 12th so again a 20 day of gap So I was almost like I I lost the hope at one point in time after <laughs> let's say fifteen days. I've even messaged you like you told me it will take time, but again, after twenty days I got the mail key that you got selected. Ours is a low tired college, Anshin. That is why uh, maybe it took time for c- conducting the interviews and maybe getting the selection also is what. No I problem, but the final result is you are selected. So first of all, congratulations. Yes. And just yes. want to add one more thing. Like, see, like here, Neha has got the result after twenty days. There are many candidates who have got the result after six months. Also, you won't believe there are candidates who has got like whosoever is watching this video. Just a note, like, be patient. You have to wait for the result because TJS is a multinational company, and it uh, and it recruits in a large number of. So it usually take times. and anything else neha that you want to add in the last for the freshers for the upcoming batch like how should they prepare how should they focus for like tcs uh i would suggest whatever you put on your resume be clear with that if you just put c that is fine if you put java that is fine but if you are clear with whatever you have put on resume then you are going to get selected because they are not expecting much from you whatever knowledge you have are you clear with that are you open to learn are you coachable is what they see so if you are uh, showing that positive attitude in the interview i think you are in tcs i i can say that 
Okay, so thank you so much, Neha, for sharing your whole interview experience on our channel. That means a lot, and I hope this video helps a lot of students. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Anshul.